Hi, and welcome to Who Rocks New Mexico? I'm Richard Holcomb. Each week, we get up close and personal with the companies that rock New Mexico and take you behind the scenes to get the story behind the story. Today, we'll meet Nate Manning of Beehive Homes, whose approach to the elderly and assisted living are both admirable and heartwarming. We'll chat with Mark Johnson of Los Ebenistas Construction, whose custom homes are in high demand in northern New Mexico. We'll talk to some folks who are living off the grid and loving it with the help of DPW Solar. But first, let's meet a businessman, balladeer, and a buddy to Berkey, business owner Bob Farrell, publisher of My ABQ and the Business Resource Guides. Jason Mayer and myself, we worked for a national company out of San Diego doing military and chamber relocation guides and we decided to start our own publication in Las Vegas for a niche that wasn't there and was serving all the business community. Everywhere that somebody moves, they really need a relocation guide to help them get acclimated to the new area. So we found it wasn't just Las Vegas that could use both of these type of publications, it was every major city that we went to. In 2008 is when Bob kind of approached me about the idea of, of starting the business resource guide or starting a publication in general and we kind of put together all of the experiences we'd had. Bob is very passionate about connecting people um, and that's what makes him a great salesperson. There are no other magazines that are specifically and uniquely about businesses. So we chose Business Resource Guide because it was a unique publication about businesses. Not only are we pleased with the Business Resource Guide, but during the Business Resource Guide, he also created My ABQ Guide. I'm not here to try to sell Bob. Bob sells himself. You, he is, what you see is what you get. We continue to advertise because we like the results. I'd like to introduce you to Kathy Bomsey. She's our Director of Business Development. She's been with the company now for two years, just had her anniversary with us, and she does a great job of cultivating business in town. One of the main, one of my main tasks is to bring in new clients for Business Resource Guide and My ABQ Guide. I feel proud to stand behind both our publications. I feel proud to have my name on the masthead. I feel they're quality publications and that there's really nothing else like them in town. You know, I clearly would recommend the Albuquerque Business Resource Guide uh, for businesses looking to work with other businesses. I think it's an excellent uh, way of reaching out to the business community here. So actually, with the Relocation Guide, uh, we have uh, used it uh, for recruitment of uh, employees that might be moving to town. As an Air Force veteran, there are a lot of things that I, I hold dear to me. And one of the things I was doing while I was working here is trying to find what's really important to me. And I found this organization called Paws and Stripes. And they take care of military veterans as well as dogs and animals. They help save both of those. Paws and Stripes is a nonprofit organization that provides service dogs to disabled veterans who are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder um, as well as traumatic brain injuries. Uh, what Bob's told us is that he's found a, a spot in his heart for Paws and Stripes. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I have a lot of people that I bump into, uh, especially in the Albuquerque area, that all of a sudden they see the Paws and Stripes truck and they're bringing up the whole, you know, we saw your article in the Business Resource Guide. And I was like, wow, okay, that's kind of cool. And then you start to realize that we would have never been able to touch these people um, if it wasn't for that publication. You know, life has a way of coming full circle. Um, and with the help of Bob and the Business Resource Guide and the publication, well, we've been able to get out and really touch a lot more individuals um, as far as with what Paws and Stripes does and, and our mission statements. Bob, Bob Farrell, the musician. Uh, I have been playing music my first time on stage. My father was a musician in the Boston area. It's, it's my one release where I can say I'm away from work. I think about just music and, and it's a wonderful thing. Dreams I've always had are coming true. A part of it was a long man, beats for two. A life I'll share with you to the end of time. Thank God it all came together to make you 
mine So many things had to happen just to make one chance More than just a random act Circumstance. I guess the angels up above put in some overtime So it all came together and now I find A lot of places rock our state too. Here's another Travel Guide New Mexico moment. Well, here we are about eight miles outside of Silver City. We're going to the Gila Cliff Dwellings. It's about 40 miles down the road, but as you can see, it takes about two hours one way to get there. So you need to plan about four hours worth of drive time to make the trip, a trip that you definitely want to make. And with that in mind, we're off. Let's go. Well, we made it. What a spectacular drive. And now we're at the trailhead. The cliff dwellings are about a half a mile up this path and we're going right now. Now this is really a spectacular hike. One of the great things about hiking here in the Gila Cliff Dwellings is that you actually have an opportunity to climb inside some of these great old ancient ruins. Hi, my name is Garrett McAllister. Welcome to the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. The cliff dwellings were built here sometime around 1270 and the occupants were the Mogollon people and they lived here between 1270 and 1300. Uh, the Mogollon people lived here, they farmed up on the Mesa as well as down near the headwaters of the Gila River and they also hunted and gathered wildlife and berries. If you come here and see the area, you'll know part of the reason why they came here. Um, it's a beautiful area. Um, it is also right near the headwaters of the Gila River. So you have three different forks of the Gila coming together. About 80% of the structures here are original. If you look carefully enough, you can see what's been reconstructed. And so you're able to appreciate the difference between the two. The wood here is all original and we know that it's original due to um, dendrochronology or tree ring dating, um, which dates the wood somewhere around 1270. The first time I came here was many years ago when I was young. Um, my father and my brother came here and coming back again I was struck by the beauty of the place and um, it's just so unique um, and I really enjoy the natural beauty that surrounds the cliff dwellings as well, the Gila Wilderness, the Aldo Leopold Wilderness. Those are big draws for me to come to this area. New Mexico is rich with history and natural beauty and we invite anyone and everyone to see as much of it as you can. Up next, energy efficient home building and with a New Mexico style. This is where many songs become one, and life dances in perfect rhythm. This is everyday life when it's embraced by the extraordinary. Like no place you've ever been before, this is Albuquerque. There's nothing quite like the 4th of July fireworks display over Elephant Butte Lake. This year's show starts at 9 p.m. on Saturday, July 6th with no gate fees after 6 p.m. Bring the whole family. 
Spend the day enjoying the hot springs, art galleries, restaurants, golf courses, museums, Veterans Memorial Park, and of course, Elephant Butte Lake. It's the fabulous 4th of July celebration with fireworks over the lake at 9 p.m. Saturday, July 6th. Be there. Paid for by the Elephant Butte Lodgers Tax. What you don't need when it's time to close your mortgage is a nameless, faceless voice at the other end of a 1-800 number. What you do need is a licensed, local loan officer who will attend your closing, sit with you and answer every one of the questions that you will surely have as you read and sign over 57 legal documents. At Frost Mortgage, we're licensed, we're professional, and we're local. We don't just close loans, we open doors. Celebrate New Mexico's rising stars. Albuquerque Business First 40 Under 40 Awards. Recognize outstanding young professionals under the age of 40 for their contributions to business and the community. They're the innovators, the deal makers, the influential leaders who excel in their industries. Celebrate with this impressive group at an elegant awards dinner Friday, June 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Sandia Resort and Casino. For more information and to reserve your spot among these stars, go to albuquerquebusinessfirst.com forward slash events. Pairing today's technology and New Mexico's heritage when it comes to home building is exactly what Los Ebenistas Construction is doing in New Mexico. Well, we started the company in 1978. Uh, I moved here from, from California. Um, I, had a, I had a woodworking business in California. Uh, when I came to Dixon here, there was a, I got interested in Spanish colonial furniture. Uh, I was able to rent uh, uh, a room in the old Catholic school building. Subsequently, we got uh, recognized for our fine woodworking skills and that grew into the custom home market. Uh, we hold licenses in uh, general building, in mechanical contracting, in plumbing, and, and uh, in electrical contracting, and, and, and solar PV and solar thermal services. We're, we're real service oriented. We have people that we've built houses for 25 years ago that uh, still call us back to do additions. Mark's attention to detail was incredible because what I do is detail only. And Mark's understanding of detail and being a cabinet maker and understanding the process was uh, flawless. It's uh, incredible. The service is always there. Uh, to give you a good example, when the gas went out here in the northern New Mexico, it was out for a week. Mark, unsolicited, went and bought as many electric heaters as he could and uh, unasked, he came here and delivered two heaters. And he did that with most of his clients. We've always grown uh, within our means over the years. We've never, uh, we've never borrowed money. We've never been under a lot of stress. Our price markup is 7%. That is way different than a lot of other companies. And we've been able to do that because we've never tried to get rich on one job. His markup is very reasonable. Uh, I think it's probably too low, to be perfectly honest. It's, uh, he does a great job, I would highly recommend him. One of the things that draws folks to our company is that it is a family-owned business. My father-in-law, Mark, he has owned and operated Los Ebenistas for over, uh, well, since the 1970s, and he has always worked closely with his clients. My husband, Zach, uh, does cabinet making, home building, and he also is involved in the solar aspect of the business. Since I was a little kid, I been working with my dad in this shop, watching him tinker with uh, woodworking tools my whole life. And I finally got graduated school and came back to uh, start woodworking with my dad and took it up. And uh, I really enjoy what we do, making cabinets. And now what's very exciting is getting into the solar industry, that we get to talk about these new, in these new technologies in solar and get to uh, install systems on these people's homes and it's this very empowering job after you see that meter turn backwards. What we have behind us here is the Taos Charter School Community Solar Array. It's a 100 kilowatt project. It's the first uh, project in all of New Mexico uh, to be a community solar array. The nice thing about uh, this concept, the community solar concept, is that it allows consumers who may not have an ideal location for solar at their residence or business to participate in a solar program. And what it does is a consumer uh, from, for either their home or business is allowed to purchase either one panel five panels or, or even ten panels. Once they purchase the panel, uh, they are able to realize the same 
uh, utility credits as if it were at their own home. So uh, their bill is going to decrease uh, without even having to have a solar system installed at their house. It's time to dispel the myth that solar is too expensive. Uh, and in just the last few years, solar costs have dropped about two thirds, making a residential system an eight or nine year payback and a business uh, system five or six year payback. And then for the next 25 or 30 years after that, you'll have free electricity. The time is right for solar. Uh, let us help you become more environmentally friendly, uh, help your pocketbook and, and improve the value of your home. Up next, compassion, dignity, and a loving home. What every child deserves. To be safe in our home. Food and clothes. Not to be hurt. A good education. To grow up with our brothers and sisters. To be loved, valued, and respected. El Ranchito is a loving and stable children's home where brothers and sisters can live together as they grow into adulthood or until they can be reunited with their families. With your help, El Ranchito de los Niños will continue its mission for years to come. Learn how you can help. Call us today. Hi, I'm Doug Wilson, the owner of American Tire and Service. Do you know what makes a great mechanic? What makes one shop better than another? Training is mighty important. Certification, you bet. Experience, the more the better. Knowledge, cars are complicated nowadays, and believe me, these mechanics need to know a lot. But do you know what really makes a great mechanic? Heart. It's a passion that drives a mechanic to do the right thing every time. At American Tire, it's the first thing we look for in a mechanic. Of course they have the training, the certifications, the experience, and the knowledge. But heart is what makes it all work for you and for us. Our entire team is dedicated to professional service. We all know that's what it takes to bring you back. We've been helping people like you for over 25 years. We're locally owned and proud to serve you. Come ask for me by name, Doug Wilson. I'd love to serve you. American Tire and Service on Highway 528 between Southern and Northern. The only guys for you. If you're looking for a great family experience, then Chamisa Hills Country Club in Rio Rancho is the place for you. The 27-hole golf course is coming back to life in a big way with incredible greens and updated fairways and tee boxes. The swimming pool is a great place for the family with lessons for the youngsters and nighttime activities in the summer for members. Tennis lessons year-round and lighted courts for night play. Chamisa Hills Country Club in Rio Rancho. Come out and join the fun today. Visit ChamisaHillsGolfAndCountryClub.com. As we and our loved ones age, it's heartwarming to know that there are caregivers like Beehive Homes, providing a compassionate, loving environment for the elderly to live in dignity. My name is Nate Manning. I'm the Regional Director for Beehive Homes of New Mexico. We have about 20 homes here in New Mexico, but we're also in Texas, Arizona. We're starting more in Colorado, all over the Southwest. Beehive Homes is a unique concept in that it's, it's not nursing home, it's not independent living. It fills a niche where people who need assistance with daily living activities, they come here. We have great food, we have awesome activities for our residents that cater to their needs, and we've got one-on-one -on -one care. Uh, residents who need a lot of attention, they come here. My name is Mary Jane Tuttle, and my husband and I have been living here for eight months now, and we love it. And uh, she makes our job so easy. <laughs> <laughs> our kids decided it was time so uh, we, uh, we got all of our belongings into this one room, <laughs> into this one room. but uh, we get such good care here. Uh, it's, it's, it's really where God wants us and it's where uh, we belong. They're often referred to as the greatest generation, and they truly are. They brought our nation from the Great Depression through the World War, um, and they built this nation to be what it is now. They have incredible stories. Um, they're very charactered individuals. Uh, our residents are our pride and joy. And it's just, it's a real privilege to be able to take care uh, of these people. 
Every one of our caregivers goes through Beehive Homes Academy. Beehive Homes Academy offers a variety of instructional courses uh, that will train our caregivers on every aspect of care that we, are, that we are dealing with. They learn about everything from kitchen safety, uh, medication management, um, how to help residents who have fallen, um, how to prevent falls. There's, there's a, hundreds of categories of different in-services trainings that we that we take our staff through one by one. Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Patsy. I took care of my dad for 10 years and if this was available for me, I would have done that. It's awesome. You know, we're here for our residents. You know, our residents have amazing stories to tell us every day. Um, it's great. I, I look forward to coming to work every morning. The sense of humor they have. If I could just write a book, it would be great. Reviving the, the the memory and playing things that uh, they grew up with, it's just fantastic. It's very rewarding because uh, I'll be playing something and all of a sudden someone will start singing along and it just warms my heart to see how they remember these things. But I'm from Connecticut originally and I worked there for 30 years in a geriatric hospital. And I always said, uh, once I retired, if I ever had to go back to work, it's gotta be doing something I love. And then I found out about Beehive. We actually lived just down the street and when I saw them building this facility, I said, maybe it's time to get back to the community. And it's the best job I've ever had. Where I was was a 600-bed hospital. And to uh, come down to 15 beds, it's, it's really an amazing transformation because uh, I just feel so much closer to the people. Because we're small, our caregiver to resident ratio is very good. And you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention that maybe you wouldn't get in a bigger facility. When you walk into a beehive home, smells like a home, looks like a home, and feels like a home. Even though it, it's built from the ground up specifically for this purpose, for assisted living, it feels like a home. Coming up, living off the grid and loving it. This month at Frost Mortgage, we are offering our clients 3.5% 30-year fixed rate mortgages. Do you have a 3.5% mortgage? If not, call Frost Mortgage and get one. When you're purchasing a property, one thing that's huge is peace of mind. When you're a buyer, there's a lot of new things. You might be a first time home buyer. You might be somebody that's buying for the third, fourth, or fifth time. Every transaction is handled differently. The Myers Group has been a real pleasure to work with. Joe went to work uh, and he nailed it perfectly and, and uh, helped us uh, get the deal closed. And uh, we moved into the house just uh, a week ago Monday. When you're purchasing a property, how to open escrow, how to make offers what's normal, what's customary. You need to know that you're getting the right financing, the right deal. And you need to know the difference between resale, new construction, everything else that's out there, all your options. When we represent you, we're your eyes and ears. We're the ones out there. When that property hits the market, if you're out of state, you're not available, you're at work, we can go out there, shoot those photos for you, shoot that video, that YouTube video, email it to you so that way you don't miss out. So if you're in the market for buying or selling a property, keep the Maya's group in mind. I guarantee you we'll add value to your life. There's nothing quite like the 4th of July fireworks display over Elephant Butte Lake. This year's show starts at 9 p.m. on Saturday, July 6th with no gate fees after 6 p.m. Bring the whole family. Spend the day enjoying the hot springs, art galleries, restaurants, golf courses, museums, Veterans Memorial Park, and of course, Elephant Butte Lake. It's the fabulous 4th of July celebration with fireworks over the lake at 9 p.m. Saturday, July 6th. Be there. Paid for by the Elephant Butte Lodgers Tax. Let's meet Kevin Goodrow of DPW Solar and learn how we can all live off the grid. Remote autonomous power systems are locations that have no electric grid power. Almost every remote system that we install, either telecommunication, remote home system, it's an economic decision made by the business or the customer. 
It's cheaper to put in a solar electric system than to extend the electric line to the home. There's a lot of pockets within uh, New Mexico and other areas in the country where they're surrounded by national forest or tribal land and uh, they will not allow the electric power to be pulled into those small communities. So most of the folks living in that area have solar electric systems. Some of them will entirely run their home off of generators, but they find in short order that putting in a solar electric system will ultimately save them money and their break-even point is sometimes as low as one year. My name is Rob McKinley. I'm from Albuquerque, and I'm a local contractor here. Uh, we built this house about 12 years ago, and DPW put in the system at about that time. They sat down with me for over six hours, teaching me about off-grid systems and how they worked and what could possibly work for me and what would fit uh, my, me and my family's lifestyle. Uh, it's been tremendous. I, you know, I always tell people when I'm giving them a tour that, uh, that uh, they could live here for years and not know that it's an off-grid house, that it's, uh, it's worked very well. What we do as engineers and designers, we analyze the daily load of the customer and we design for the shortest Sunday of the year, which is typically December 21st. We analyze that, we make sure the array to load ratio is appropriate such that they never run out of battery power. In most of these systems, the battery reserve is for five days. And so what that means is they could go without any sun power for up to five days and still have enough electric power from the battery bank to power the home. Hi, I'm uh, Erica Inyart. Uh, Urban Ecos. I'm a general contractor. I've been living up here for uh, four years. It's an off-grid community, uh, Evergreen Hills. Well, there was an existing system here, about three and a half uh, kilowatt system, which should have been adequate for uh, this house if the bottom uh, unit was not used, but uh, it did not, in fact, uh, function well at all. So. Uh, DPW, Kevin and I got together and determined that a much larger array would actually be appropriate for the essentially duplex load of this property. You know, I had uh, just purchased a 10 kilowatt generator uh, to replace the one that broke down from the original uh, setup. It has not run at all in the year uh, since uh, the installation uh, behind you. My experience with DPW, with uh, Kevin Goudreau and his superlative crew uh, has been so positive. I have no problem uh, recommending them. I happily recommend them. And uh, the beauty of the system, I think, speaks for itself and the fact that I've had absolutely no trouble uh, in all this time. Uh, it's been a good experience and I hope other people will do it. Get off grid, go green, go solar. <laughs> If you have an interest or a need in solar electric power, we do free on-site analysis and you also can go to our website dpwsolarelectric.com. DPW Solar Rocks! That's who rocks for this week. Because of the French Open tennis coverage, we'll be off next week and invite you to join us on June 16th at our regular time, 8 a.m. Sunday morning right here on KOB4 or visit us anytime at whorocksnm.com. I'm Richard Holcomb, and if you're out and about this week, be sure and thank our friends in the military for their service. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>